I love automobiles, but I would it's I, I, I would love to drive an automobile that does not pollute the earth. Our readership is always interested in finding out greener and more environmentally friendly uh, things that can that help the environment. Consumerism drives the production. So if more and more people become educated about global warming, the greenhouse effect, and environmentally friendly ways to live, they'll demand that. I'm Malcolm Brooklyn, I'm CEO of Visionary Vehicles. My name is Jim Beyer, I'm the team leader for Michigan Vision. My name is Aaron Davenport, I'm with Tilting Vehicle Australia. Ulrich Paulsen, President of Alpha Core Bridgeport, Connecticut. Ingo Valentin, I'm the owner of Valentin Technologies. Jim Stansbury, and I'm the uh, CEO and founder of Physics Lab of Lake Havasu. My name is John Rogtai, I'm the team leader and catalyst for Team Psychoactive. We want to demonstrate that we are the premier competition for fuel efficiency. It's very important that the automotive industry understands that if we're really talking about improving auto uh, fuel efficiency over the next several years, that we need a competition to, to show what we can do and how far we can go. I think the Automotive X Prize is a, a wonderful uh, establishment. It's a, a very good way of encouraging lots of different groups with different ideas to try to work on this very hard problem. I think one of the things that's going to be very important is to get these technologies out in front of people to show not only auto companies but consumers what you can do with what technology that already exists today. This is an example of the great exposure we're getting also. And, but apart from that, I feel we have a fair chance with our system of uh, maybe even winning the, the, the competition. All the people in the race are going to be smart and are going to have the same dedication to trying to find how to build a vehicle with great mileage. We do marketing constantly to find out what consumers want and it's real simple. When you tell them you have a nice size automobile that's going to get 100 miles to the gallon and sell for under $40,000, we don't really need too much more. You only have to look uh, today to see a, a number of automakers that are doing innovations. But these innovations that most of these automakers are looking at are very small, they're very incremental, they're building on past successes. What we're looking for right now is a, is a dramatic breakthrough. I think that the time is right for not only the automotive industry, but the American consumer to look upon these, these innovations as not only good, but absolutely necessary. There's a lot of people who don't quite understand exactly what the XPRIZE is all about. The goal of the XPRIZE, as I see it, is to, for somebody to come up with a winning combination of engineering and inventiveness uh, that's actually producible. We've been working actually uh, here at the Detroit Auto Show to make sure that others understand that the doors to this competition uh, remain open at this moment and also will remain open until well beyond we, uh, our announcement in New York. So it's, uh, we say if you have the, uh, the wherewithal to compete against uh, some of these teams from around the, the world right now, we say please bring it on, we'd like to see what you've got.